In this video, we are going to do an example problem involving adding vectors using the component method. So we have two vectors here. Vector A is going to be 23 meters, 33 degrees south of east, and vector B is going to be 62 meters, 21 degrees north of west. And our goal is to add vector A to vector B and figure out what the resultant is. So I've drawn my coordinate system here. So we have east, north, west and south. So since we're south of east, we're going to point east and sweep south of it, putting our 33 degrees here in the fourth quadrant underneath the negative or positive x-axis. And then vector b here is north of west. So we're going to go west and sweep north of it. So that's going to put us in the second quadrant just above the negative x-axis. So I've drawn in my vector arrows, which are going to be the hypotenuse of the right triangle, and then I've drawn in the sides of my triangle to encase the angle provided, thus creating right triangles, which means then I can use right triangle trig, because I want to know what the sides of the triangle are, given the, one of the interior angles and the hypotenuse. So since 33 degrees is adjacent to the x component, I can use cosine in order to find the x component of vector a. And then because the 33 degrees is opposite of the y component, I can use sine to find the y component of vector a. Now notice vector a is south of east. So the x component is positive, but the y component is negative because you're pointing to the right and down. So notice I put this minus sign here that is not going to come out of your calculator. For vector b, the 21 degrees is adjacent to the x, so once again I'm going to use cosine. And the 21 degrees is opposite to the y component, so I'm going to use sine to find the y component of vector b. Because this vector is in the second quadrant, the x component is to the left, so this is why I put a negative sign there. And the y component is up, so it is positive in this case. Now that I have my x and y components, I'm going to add my x components together to get the resultant component in the x direction. And I'm going to add my y components together to get the resultant component in the y direction. I've then redrawn my coordinate system over here. And I always start by drawing the x component first. So r of x is negative, so it's going to go to the left. r of y is positive, so it's going to point up. So that puts my resultant vector in the second quadrant. Since I have the two sides of the triangle, I'm going to use Pythagorean's theorem here to determine what the magnitude of the resultant is, so the size of the resultant. And I'm going to use inverse tangent here in order to determine what the direction is. And remember, you always want to put some indication of what axis your angle is measured from. So since my x is along the west axis, I put west here. And because the y points north, I put north here. So we're 14.1 degrees north of west, or you can say 14.1 degrees above the negative x axis.